Hello and welcome. I'm a materials management regional specialist that works for DEQ, and today I'm going to provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete the Opportunity Recycle Reporting Form for the general requirements. This is the 2022 form for waste sheds, which are usually counties, with no cities over the population of 4,000. We have changed the form slightly this year by adding spaces for you to provide detailed information regarding your education and outreach programs. The purpose of this form is so DEQ can determine a waste shed's compliance with the opportunity recycle requirements. All activities listed on this page are required to be implemented by the waste shed or the county. We recommend that you complete this form in collaboration with your service provider. This is because the county and the service provider could both be implementing recycling programs within the county. So let's start. The first set of boxes here are for just for you to confirm that there are no cities in your county over the population of 4,000. If there are, then you need to be completing a different form. So you should check the yes box here. Next, this is a space for you to provide a list of your service provider or providers in your county. The next set of boxes is us asking you if your educational programs implemented in your county meet the general requirements. The answer to this should be yes, you are required to do all of the things listed on this page. So let's get into some details. First, you're required to provide initial notice to residents and commercial generators of their opportunity to recycle. So this would be for someone new who moved into the area. They would need to be provided educational information about how and where to recycle. Next, you're also required to provide semi-annual notices of the opportunity to recycle. So this would be in addition to the initial notice. This material should include things such as what materials are collected, collection schedule, material preparation, and also why recycling is important. So this needs to happen twice a year, and we have provided two different boxes here for you to tell us how you've done this twice during the year. The date and time doesn't need to be specific. It doesn't have to be a date you sent it out. It could be a time of year, such as the first quarter of the year. Next, the media type or delivery method could be something such as a newsletter, or maybe a bill insert that the collection service provider sends out or the city sends out. It could be newspaper, it could be on a web page. So how do you get that educational information out to your residents? Next would be giving us the topic of the message that was in this educational material. Was it how to recycle, where to recycle? Was it the calendar? Was it all of the above? Let us know in this space here. Next, who completed this activity? Was it the county or was it the service provider? Just let us know. So we've left two box here for you to tell us how you've done this semi-annually throughout the year. Next, you're also required to provide educational promotional materials to local media. This could be, for example, to newspapers, televisions, radio stations, community groups. These rules were written several years ago, and back then we actually didn't have social media. Um, and so we do include social media as one of these touches. So you can feel free to add that information here if you're getting a message out through social media. Next, you need to have an official contact person for recycling education and promotion in your county. So this could be that you want to put a name here in that spot, and that could be someone who works for the service provider. It could be a county official. It could be anyone who someone can contact regarding the educational programs in your county. Next, there also needs to be a procedure for citizen involvement in the city or county's education and promotion programs. That could be a solid waste advisory committee, which is a pretty formal process, or it could be less formal, such as just a contact person, maybe the same person you've list, listed above on this line. That would be someone that a citizen could reach out to if they had any feedback on the educational promotional material that is distributed in your county. The next two boxes are referring to depots. If you have a depot in your county, and it is at an attended depot, so there is a person who works at the depot, you are required to distribute written information regarding recycling. So what can be recycled at the depot? If you don't have a, a depot that has an attendant, that at the end of this sentence here, you would just put an A. You don't have to check the box since that doesn't apply to you. But if you have a depot that does not have an attendant, you are required to post signs so people know what to recycle at the depot. 
When you are done completing your form, please don't forget to have a county official sign it before you submit it back to DEQ. This concludes the instructions for completing the opportunity to recycle form for your county. Thank you for listening today and please reach out to your local regional specialist if you have any questions about this form or any questions about your recycling programs. Thank you and have a good day.